This is Big Z from the Side by Side Guys, and this is the Polaris North Star 30 Quart Cooler Long Term Review. The North Star series of Roto Mold hard coolers are made from a thick UV resistant polyurethane with 2 inch thick foam insulation, much like the Yeti coolers. The cooler has four rubber feet that are screwed into the base of the cooler and are not taped on like other brands. We have been dragging this cooler around for over a year, and none of the feet have failed. Locking the lid of the North Star cooler are two rubber latches that can be a bit stiff at first but soften up over time. These latches can also drop down in the way of closing the lid if you're simply dropping the lid shut. This frequently causes you to have to knock the latches out from beneath the lid when closing the cooler. A slight bit annoying, but nothing really to complain too much about. The lid is married to the lower tub by way of a large hinge molded into the cooler. This hinge uses an aluminum pin permanently mounted to the cooler. Upon opening the cooler, the hinge holds the lid in the upright position, and if it's empty, can result in it tipping over. Under the lid of the Polaris cooler, you'll find a rubber gasket that creates a positive seal around the cooler's tub. This seal has not moved or failed in the year plus of abuse. The gasket makes positive contact with the raised lips on the lower tub, and the seal has been reliable and has never leaked. The inside of the 30-quart cooler is small in circumference, but deep enough to hold a day's worth of drinks and a bag or two of ice. The 60-quart cooler does have quite a bit more usable space as they are wider and extend further back. We definitely recommend the 60-quart cooler for longer trips with the additional food and miscellaneous items that you'll put in there. But the 30-quart cooler was more than enough for any day trip on any of our trail rides. The sidewalls of the tub include a slot to accept an optional divider and cutting board. This divider is an awesome solution for those storing drinks and food in the same cooler and don't want the drinks roughing up the food during a ride. It's really highly recommended. The bottom left of the cooler features an easy open sealed drain plug that is one inch deep and dual vented, allowing for quick draining. The outer lip of the cooler features eight slots for securing the cooler with a strap. The front two corner slots are continued through the lid for additional security. When we received our 30 quart cooler, we opted to install the optional bottle opener, which works great and can be mounted anywhere on the cooler, though we never really used it when it was in the razor. The handles of the North Star cooler are made from a high quality rope and feature a rigid and padded handle. These were a great feature, though we felt that they were too long and caused them to be drained on or to make for an awkward carry between rigs, especially if there was a shorter helper involved. They can even get in the way of loading the cooler in the back of the razor if you're not careful as the rope and the handle will create a bind between the plastic and the cooler. Once you figure out the angle of attack, putting the cooler in the razor is no problem. The 30 quart cooler is a perfect fit for the Polaris XP series of side-by-sides and will fit behind the Polaris spare tire carrier, leaving plenty of room for additional storage. The 60 quart cooler will fit lengthwise in the razor bed, but will not allow for the Polaris spare tire carrier to close. Additionally, if you have retracting harnesses like the Polaris Click 6 harnesses, these will cause the 60 quart cooler to not sit flat on the bed floor. During the last year with the Polaris North Star cooler, we've thrown the cooler around the shop, used it for camping, day rides, as stepping stools, as a sawhorse, even as a car jack when rescuing fellow riders. We've dropped the cooler fully loaded from trailers, backed into it with our vehicles, and more. These coolers are undoubtedly stout, and our cooler shows no sign of failure or cracking. Now the question on everybody's mind is, how long does it hold ice? In our 30 quart cooler testing, a single bag of ice would typically last around 3 to 4 days in typical summer heat between 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Two bags of ice will last you well over a week if left alone. On especially hot days or days where the cooler is frequently opened, the time is cut down by a day or so depending on how long the lid is left open and how frequently it's opened. We've never actually been left without ice after a day of riding, and I tell you what, cracking that ice cold beverage open after a full day ride is one of the best drinks you'll have all week. The Players North Star coolers now come in both desert and graphite colors and are available in 15, 30, 60, and 105 quart sizes, and they retail for $190, $240, $310, and $400 respectively. That is up to $80 cheaper than the comparable Yeti cooler, and to be honest, much better looking. Overall, we can't get over the build quality and the performance we received from our Polaris North Star cooler. We loved it so much we bought an additional 30 quart for Uncle Ben and a 60 quart for our family trips. It's really a great cooler. Besides its little nitpicks here and there, we really can't recommend it enough. Please visit your local Polaris dealer or shop online at polaris.com shop to get your North Star cooler before your next ride. Until then, get out and experience your next adventure.
If you found this review helpful in any way, please consider giving us a subscribe and a thumbs up. Also leave your comments down below. We'd love to hear back from you on what brands you're buying, what your experiences are, and if our review matches your experience. We really like hearing feedback and we like interacting with the community, so please drop us a line. Please also consider following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and here on YouTube. Peace.